it's your girl Adriana and today I'm back with another video. Since I don't possess the ability to talk you into watching this entire video, I'll just get straight to the point. Today I'm going to show you all my 7 different personalities, come aesthetics, cause one just ain't it. So let's begin. So this personality of mine just wants to color her electric blue and watch anime all day. So to personify her, I'll begin with the makeup. These are some of the looks I took inspiration from. I just started with the base of foundation followed by a substantial amount of blush. Common trends among eagle outfits are layering turtlenecks, wearing fishnet stockings, plaid and silver chains. The outfit is something I definitely normally wear. This girl is edgy, a little come extremely emo. This personality became a fully fledged adult at about mid quarantine. Soft girl makeup is very similar to that of an eagle. Yes, they both involve an excessive amount of blush. Soft girl outfits mainly involve pastel colors, warm jeans, tennis skirts, cardigans, oversized sweaters, and white chunky sneakers. This girl is girly and badass. If you ever thought I was remotely nice, that's because she was the one you were talking to. Dark academia looks are more minimalistic, muted, with a pop of the darkest shade of lipstick you can find. After the foundation process, I just added a tiny bit of blush and for the lipstick I chose a nude matte one whose shade is 606 or 909, I have no idea. After I'm done wearing the nude lipstick, I just use the brown one as a lip liner, I don't know, but it looks good. So after I'm done lip lining, I fill it up so that in the end it looks like this. The dark academia color palette consists of earthy, muted and darker colors. This personality of mine is sophisticated, she loves the smell of brand new books, falls in love with the characters of the numerous books she reads and sure does love the sound of silence. The Instabody makeup is nude, earthy and flawless. They all have long lashes, eyeliner, nude lipstick, perfect contour highlights and eyebrows, all of which I can do like one. Instabaddies wear outfits that accentuate their curves like high waist skinny jeans, tracksuits, crop tops. This person of mine is a confident bad leaf who never did and never will give a rat's ass and I just need to be heard more often. This outfit is hit, hence the numerous hair flips. These are some of the looks I drew inspiration from. All of them involved long lashes, glossy lips and minimal blush. So that's exactly what I did. But this just ain't it. I need some gloss in there, so I use some Vaseline. Um, since I don't actually own a lip gloss, and this is a pretty good alternative. All these outfits give me major body vibes. Common trends are low rise jeans, skirts, crop tops, cardigans, shoulder bags. Main colors being pinks and purples. And this outfit made me feel like a Bratz doll, and that feeling is everything. Talk right now. I'm doing hot girl. My camera died, so I could not film the process leading to this look. I'm sorry, but I drew my inspiration from these. All these outfits have baggy jeans and crop tops, they all look colorful and basically fun. I know 
thought this was an actual aesthetic, but the current me is in love with her. Yes, it absolutely screams Bella Hadid business chic. I just did the same old wear the nude lipstick and then layer, layer brown over it. I don't know if anybody does this, but I put some powder over the lipstick so that it just looks more matte and pretty. This outfit looks very much like Selena Van Der Woodson's in her first scene of the first episode of the first season of Gossip Girl. Ha! Huh. To me, New York is just this whole different ideal world, a world I really want to be a part of. And dressing like this girl just gives me this whole burst of confidence, and I sure am obsessed with it. Thank you so much for making it to the very end of this video, and if you skip to the end, <laughs> I still love you. And that is it for this week. Okay, bye.